Dobry den, moi pratele. Alright, we're back again for some more Fantasy Star New Genesis. We tried Fantasy Star Online 2, the classic mode, and it was okay and interesting. New Genesis is definitely a little bit more fast paced. But let's just kind of go back through and compare the two a little bit. Alright, so we've got our daily logins. Kind of nice. Get a daily lottery ticket. Cat ears, I don't really want or need cat ears, but okay. That's the trouble with lotteries. Sometimes you get something you really don't want at all. I do love that gliding feature. It's just so ridiculous. Hi. Just doing some quick exploration here in Central City. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on here. There's still features that are locked on my account. Guys, we're done with the tutorials. Shouldn't that stuff be unlocked by now? Okay, so we've got a little side quest here. I wonder what it's actually going to be about. Let's do this again. Oh, you interrupted my glide, jerks. I don't know what those golden flowers do. Okay. Howdy. So blocks sound like a nice little thing to have in the game. Kind of like the wing shells in Final Fantasy. Uh, clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. But it's more fun that way, don't you think?
Which marker am I supposed to follow? Normally it's the yellow one. But I think that's just that side quest I picked up earlier. Like it changed focus for me. yellow flowers they keep moving the gold posts on me the yellow quest marker I needed to follow. I don't know what that blue thing is. No, not the green thing I just hit. We know that was, but that little blue T over there. Curious, whatever it is. Right. Ooh. Kind of like a little mini dungeon going on here. And there you are. My name's Dozer. I'm Crawford's lieutenant. I'm kind of the Dozer. jack of all trades. Wasn't that one of the pilots the from the Matrix? Crawford asked me to put you through your paces a bit. Never thought he'd turn into a robot. Thank you, Dozer, but I prefer learning by doing rather than just sitting here through your explanations. Like screwing up on occasion like I just did there. Me to clear through this, but you want to sit there and talk to me and make sure I can't move. I know how to destroy targets, Dozer. Okay, now I have to collect the little boxes and make my way up there. Okay, yeah, so that essentially gives you a triple jump, but you have to be against a wall. Must you always be the bane of my existence?
I gotta tell you that wall jump thing is kind of nice to have. Ah, uh, thank you for the totally necessary explanation. You wanna let me pass through? So I can complete this quest? I have it equipped for him not letting me through. Items rather than my abilities? Well done. You can exit Is it just gonna be all the one pallet from here on out? How the fuck did I get five stars? It took me forever to get through that. Just because of Technicalities, but still. <sighs> okay, yeah, skill points, got it. Always liked about Fantasy Star the little warp they give you. All right. Okay. Hold Hello on. again, Dozer. I saw you like two minutes ago. Uh, me too. Good work. Okay. Howdy. Oh hey. So you were doing the same training as us. Oh right? see. All three of you have natural talent. I don't think you should have any problem taking on the dolls. Aina, your score was just as good as our two Meteor here. What? Really? <laughs> I've got a good feeling about this team. I okay, if this is a team, why can't I take them with soon. me? I'll let Crawford know the good news. Now, or is that just a one-time deal? Dolls out. Oh, one last thing. We have these facilities all over Alpha. Like, Each further down the line, my son you going to have the ability to summon them? So you can or all the various skills. was it just for the prologue? Make good use of them. You'll need all the training you can get. Oh, neat. Could you join me in the Substantial community? amount of experience from that. Waiting. 
All right, let's see what these T's are. Trial start. Trial. I kinda wish I had a faster paced weapon here. Success. Trial clear. So it's looking like trials in this game are basically like the fates from Final Fantasy XIV. Just in-game events that happen periodically throughout the day. It's a nice little touch to help you gain experience. Plus, things like that can help break up the monotony of it all. An elevator. They both go to the same place, which only has one door. Hello. Thank you all for coming. <sighs> make it make sense. I was thinking that the three of you still have much to learn about this place. Especially for you, having only just arrived on Halfa, I imagine you must have a lot of questions. I have asked the operators to offer you their support in this matter. Please speak with them to hear the details. Let's see. You start off by speaking with Leo Lin. Okay, another destination quest. Go here, talk to this person. Go here, do this thing. It's nice to meet you. My name well, at least is it's not an escort mission. I hope you don't mind if I get right to the point. I believe you've already set foot in your first cocoon, but I'd like to go into some detail about searching for cocoons. But first, I'll begin by teaching you about the Euchre devices. I've sent some location data over to your mag, so please make your way over there now. Euchre devices. I'm sorry, I was only half paying attention there. Ryuker devices. What are we going to use those for? Something fun? Something vomit inducing? Hey. Okay, it's a teleporter. to enable fast travel as quickly as possible. They are ancient devices which predate our records. There is no one alive today who understands exactly how they work. Your personal data should be automatically registered to a device once you approach it. Mags have a handy function called Active Sonar, which is useful for locating things like Ryuker devices and cocoons. Ryuker devices and cocoons. Okay. Please start making your way over to the next Ryuker device now. So they're all kind of linked together in a sort of way. Ah. 
so the mag is just going to kind of track where they go and lead me in the right direction. Which will be kind of nice. You know, I'm not entirely sure how I feel about a sci-fi fantasy RPG being open world. Part of me thinks that it's kind of taking away from the concept in order to play off a popular gimmick. Don't get me wrong, I love open world games, but... I don't know. It would be nicer to do, like, space exploration or something. Oh well. I suppose, you know, in the end, beggars really can't be choosers. Although I wouldn't say I begged for this game, I was just overly, overly anxious. Looks like we got another trial going on over here. And a fun one at that. Trial start. I'm glad I kept my distance there because that looked painful. the cocoon I guess basically just little training exercises and this one wants me to learn how to fight stronger enemies okay like how they put up all that red sign and that yellow flower there I should really look into what that does Oh 
Oh wow. Enhanced indeed. My weapon attacks barely scratch the surface on this one. Oh, striking that thing on his head definitely did more damage. But still doing like nothing. Oh, there we go. Get rid of the enhancement and you can start doing some serious damage to him. Or at least more damage, I guess. Doesn't look like it's serious. Maybe I'm doing this at just a low level or something, I don't know. Alright. Oh sure, that time I only get three stars. Ah, the slide. It looks as though you've arrived safely. <laughs> I have to say, I'm quite pleased with your performance. Very nice. On to the next. Where was I? So as you gain experience in cocoons, you'll be able to master skills exclusive to each class, known as class skills. Please. Okay, class skills, that's kind of nice, I guess. Shopping closet to learn more. I have to shop for my class skills? I can't just click on a menu in my character and learn them? That's kind of absurd, don't you think? Um, what the fuck? There we go. for now because we're kind of running out of time. Now slide like down low everyone. It's been fun I think. Yeah let's go with that.